Today we're talking about six ways that you can actively give back to the public lands, the state parks, and the trail systems that we use as backpackers and hikers. This is an incredibly important topic that I don't feel like gets discussed often enough here within the backpacking YouTube channels. We talk a lot about leave no trace, but how do we actually give back to the public lands and the trail systems that we as backpackers use? Because I don't think we often think about truly the impact that one person can create and then multiplying that over a full season of use in a specific area, it creates a lot more impact than I think we uh, give credit for. So I wanna talk about six ways that you can actually give back that creates a real difference to protecting and taking care of the trail systems and our public lands that we use as backpackers. So number one on the list today is to just give direct donations to the land management agencies that manage the specific trails and lands that you as a hiker uh, frequent, whether that is a trail association, a state park, or direct to the federal land management agencies. Direct donations make a difference and allow for those lands to be protected and maintained from the high use that they see in a lot of cases. There are uh, different ways that you can give back. It could be purchasing an annual uh, parks pass for the national parks that is $80 that goes to helping protect, maintain, and keep things uh, protected in the way that allows for future generations, uh, if you will, to continue to use that. It's all important, so direct donation to the land management agencies or the trail association, state parks, truly does make a difference. Number two is to support businesses and purchase from businesses that give back actively to public lands. It may be a donation of their uh, sales for the year are directly donated to specific organizations, nonprofits, or uh, directly to the land management agencies. So you're gonna have to do some research on this to see what uh, is happening within that particular company, but it's good to do that kind of research to understand more of the backbone and the mission and vision of those uh, particular businesses because if they are publicly talking about how they are giving back to public lands, then that is something that is important for us to support because they care about the money that hikers and backpackers are uh, spending on their product and giving it back to the areas that those hikers and backpackers uh, are using actively. So they may be giving back through a percentage of sales. Uh, there could even be a lot of information about particular volunteer hours that are used uh, within the company to go out and volunteer and uh, clean up trails, pick up trash. So support companies that actively give back to the public lands and the trail systems that we use. So number three on the list is to volunteer your time. And that can be in various different ways. It just depends on what uh, area you are from and what the access to various trails and such is. But volunteer your time. And that could be uh, signing up for working with a nonprofit that is doing specific activities that are types of like trail maintenance or uh, removing invasive species of weeds and stuff in a specific area. There's a lot of different options. One of the things that I've done is went and helped dig uh, post holes for new uh, signs that were created for a campground in a very high use area. So we put new signs into the ground and it was a very rewarding thing even though it was tough work manually digging uh, post holes but giving back in that way is such an amazing way to feel like you are making an actual difference in the area uh, that you recreate frequently. Number four on the list is probably the easiest and something that makes a huge impact in a short period of time and that is to pick up trash at the trailheads and on the trail as you're moving along. Very often the most common trash that you see are little corners of granola bars or like cliff bars and stuff that fall out of a pack or somebody stuffing it into a pocket gets stuck to their their hand and it falls out onto the trail 
pick those up on your way. Take a gallon size Ziploc bag and pick up anything that you find. And oftentimes at trailheads or the first like mile around a trailhead is where you're gonna find the most trash. So be aware of that and maybe when you get done with the hike, scour around the area and pick up any trash that you see and take it out because you're at your car anyway, so why not uh, grab a bag and pick up anything that you find that uh, people are too lazy to pick up themselves or the wind blows and a napkin or something flies away and gets stuck in a bush. Like we've all seen it and we've all been a victim of that. <laughs> so uh, just pick up trash. That's an easy way to make a huge difference in a short period of time that actively gives back. So the last two items here on the list have to do with our activity on social media. So number five is share on social media that you're doing cleanup, that you're actively volunteering and giving back in ways that are important and making you feel good. Like that's an important way to share that doesn't make you more important than others than uh, and it may not get the most likes and comments and such, but we are putting ourselves out there to say, hey, look, I'm trying to put myself out there and show that I wanna give back, I wanna volunteer my time, I'm picking up trash, and share that bag of trash on social media. It makes a huge, huge difference sharing those kinds of things and hopefully will motivate others to start doing the same. Start a hashtag or something that creates some kind of movement or whatever, I don't know. But there are a lot of really good ways that you can share that in a constructive, educational way that isn't like any kind of shaming that might come from uh, posting that kind of stuff on social media. So you gotta be smart with it, but do it because it's an important part of sharing how you are actively giving back to those specific areas. Two people that come to mind that are really effective at doing this, uh, one guy here on YouTube, Motivated by Mountains, he does a great job of sharing some of the crazy things that he carries out uh, on his backpacking trips, <laughs> like pounds and pounds of garbage. And then it will post and ask like, if you saw this in the, in the woods, would you carry this out? It's really cool, and I think he's doing a good job with that. And the second person that is really active on social media, uh, specifically Instagram, is Plug It In Hikes. He is just done an amazing job at sharing how much impact you can create by showing what uh, you are cleaning up. He's been taking truckloads of garbage out from the Great Smoky Mountains and uh, the Max Patch area, areas that I'm not familiar with because I don't live there, but it's incredible the amount of change that is happening through one person's actions. So uh, definitely share on social media how that can make a difference. The sixth, or is it sixth, uh, thing that we'll talk about today, again with social media, is be careful about how you choose to geotag your images that you share on Instagram or Facebook. It does make a difference and it creates an impact. And we all know that there are areas that we frequent often, depending where we live, that because of social media have become uh, overpopulated and the impact and the amount of uh, trash and uh, just overall negative things that have taken place in those areas uh, is not awesome. And social media in a lot of ways is to blame. I know this is a controversial type of topic, but it's important to talk about. Uh, I was kind of taken back by an area that I went camping in and backpacked to last year. And I thought to myself, this is crazy. The amount of vegetation in this area that should be like very vegetated has been totally decimated from vegetation. It is all beat up and you would think that one person can't really create that much impact. So understand the impact that you create by sharing your images and to take time in your captions to educate and talk about it. Like this place is incredibly beautiful, but also here's some education on how you can take care of it when you do visit because it's an important part of how we make sure that we're giving back and protecting the public lands, the trail systems, and such that we recreate on. Well, that's gonna wrap up this conversation about how you and I can give back to the public lands and the trail systems that we uh, recreate on and continue to use. I would love to have a conversation in the comments about this, and please keep it uh, respectful. If you disagree with anything that I said, awesome. Tell me what you disagree about and let's have a conversation about it. If you agree with my points, let's have a conversation about it. I want to see more of us taking and making an effort 
to uh, give back actively, support businesses that uh, actively give back to public lands, uh, picking up trash, all of the things that just make a difference in being able to know that we can continue to visit and use these areas that uh, give back so much to us uh, personally, whether it's mentally, physically, spiritually, uh, it's just an amazing thing. So thank you so much for watching today, guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Hope you have an awesome day. And I'm gonna have an awesome day because it's beautiful out here, but we'll catch you on the next one. See you later.